Draw curious Aussie creatures. Emus are two fluff balls with silly legs that go backwards like all birds. And I like to draw little lines like Big Bird. And emu chicks are so stripy and they are their legs can just go everywhere. You can have them dancing around. So galahs and cockatoos are all about curved lines. So I put effort into the beak and then the other curves of the body can be a little bit looser. And they've got wriggly bits around their eyes. And they're all curves and even curvy feet. Unlike kangaroos, which are all triangles and circles. So their body is one big triangle. They've got a triangle-ish head, but it's also sort of a bit more like a curved sheep's nose, a bit rounded at the top. Because they can look a bit foxy if you make them too pointy. And they've got T-Rex arms, obviously. Big circle for their big, powerful back legs. And their tail's really big and strong. So you have to make sure that's really long and thick. And they've got big arm muscles. And but like cats, kangaroos are shapeshifters, and when they're lying down, they're a big semicircle, and then their upper body's sort of a big triangle. When I outline, I kind of smooth off the triangles for the ears. Okay. So wombats and koalas are actually related. So they've got some similarities. Wombats have got a horizontal oval nose. And their ears don't go out the sides, so they go up the top and a little bit tilted. Then they've got their big um, backside and sort of curved in curvy little bow legs. And then koalas have got the big backside and the curvy legs again. Right, so. To draw a koala or a wombat from the side, you do some big circles. You've got the ears and just a hint of their nose. And then you've got these really curvy legs. And koalas have got dots on their backsides. There. And the last animal also has these curvy legs. But it's got sort of a triangle nose. And it kind of um, curves a little bit at the very tip and then it's very spiky so there's an echidna so that's how to draw some curious Aussie creatures